Hey, my famous fans, welcome to Famous Faces Scoop TV, where every headline comes with a twist and a sip of piping hot tea. We're diving deep into the latest in celebrity chaos because Hollywood isn't just about glitz and glam, it's also about drama, lawsuits, and a whole lot of family affairs. So grab your popcorn, because today we're rolling out one of the most mind-boggling sagas from the music world, starring none other than the bad boy himself, Sean Diddy Combs. Sean Diddy Combs will be making an appearance in his son Quincy Brown's upcoming vlog series, just a vlog. A trailer for the new show, which was posted by The Shade Room on Tuesday, included footage of the disgraced music mogul who made a brief cameo toward the end of the minute long clip. The teaser showed the rapper as a father hugging his twin daughters, Dee Lila and Jesse Combs, in the kitchen as he and his brood cheered about the Combs Family Vacation Brown's forthcoming series is expected to premiere on October 27th. The new series promises to show the behind the scenes of his family, allowing people to view the Combs family through their own lens as Quincy documents his family doing various activities, family vacations, the highs and lows, and more per the shade room. The new trailer arrived shortly after Brown, 33, and five of his six siblings released a joint statement in support of their father, who is currently being held at the Metropolitan Detention Center in Brooklyn on physical connection, organized crime, and transportation to engage in prostitution charges. In the clip, a shirtless Coombs family through their own lens as Quincy documents his family doing various activities, family vacations, the highs and lows, and more per the shade room. The trailer comes shortly after the music mogul's children released a statement in support of their father. The past month has devastated our family Brown, Justin Christian Chance and twins Jesse and Delilah wrote alongside a family photo with their dad and youngest sibling, one-year-old love Sean. Many have judged both him and U.S. based on accusations, conspiracy theories, and false narratives that have spiraled into absurdity on social media, they continued. We stand united, supporting you every step of the way. We hold on to the truth, knowing it will prevail, and nothing will break the strength of our family. The past month has devastated our family Brown, Justin Combs, Christian Combs, Chance Combs, and twins Jesse and Delilah Combs wrote in a statement prior to his arrest. Diddy was hit with numerous lawsuits accusing him of unlawful acts. He has since been hit with more suits from additional alleged victims. Most recently, a woman accused him and two other celebrities of drugging and raping her at a MTV Video Music Awards after party in 2000 when she was 13. Nick Cannon knew when to leave Sean Diddy Combs' infamous parties. During an appearance on No Jumper Monday, Adam Grammaison, more commonly known as Adam 22, Asked Cannon how he avoided the disgraced music producer's alleged free coughs. I leave early, Cannon, 44, replied. The Wild and Out host said he typically worked the party and left as soon as he was finished. Nick Cannon avoided Sean Diddy Combs' alleged free coughs by leaving early. Cannon said he used to DJ at Diddy's backyard parties. I'm the DJ, he explained. When it's time for me to wrap up, I'm, I'm out. Cannon explained that he was usually in charge of the music outdoors, which wrapped up earlier in the night before guests went inside. Cash Jones, aka WAC 100, also attended a few of Diddy's backyard parties, but insisted they didn't get freaky until most guests had left. Me personally, I was a backyard guy, Jones said. By 12.15 to 1.30, we were gone. However, he left as soon as people started to go inside the house. When it's time for me to wrap up, I'm out, he said. In the house, it was still cool until like 2.30 or 3 in the morning, Jones said. After that, cats leave and whoever stayed would go into the back. We don't know what happened, Jones claimed Combs was selective about who he let inside the house. However, both Jones and Cannon claimed they never saw anything illegal going down. Supposedly, whatever they got, we are going to see in what? May Cannon said, referring to the jailed rapper's 2025 trial date. The group then discussed some of the details of the case, such as the drugs Diddy allegedly infused into baby oil to subdue victims. He also questioned some of the allegations levied against the music mogul. They also brought up allegations that Combs' non-consensual behavior over two dozen minors, which the mass singer host said he doesn't believe to be true. Although Cannon was skeptical of some of the claims, he suggested it was a long time coming. His karma is on trial, he said. Cannon said a lot of the case has been sensationalized. K 
Cannon has known Combs for nearly three decades, previously revealing he partied with the Bad Boys record founder at just 16 years old. I live my truth. I remember standing outside, you know, trying to get into a puff party out here in New York. He recalled of the experience on The Breakfast Club earlier this month. Cannon said the scene was reminiscent of Notorious B.I.G's One More Chance music video with herds of people waiting to get inside the jam-packed house party. However, once again, Cannon insisted he was never involved in anything illegal. He has denied all accusations. Everybody gets scared to talk because they probably got something to hide, but I ain't got nothing to hide, he said. The Sober Star also noted there is a difference between attending one of Diddy's good parties and a freak off wild. Drug-fueled parties in which Combs allegedly used violence and intimidation against participants. Combs currently sits in a Brooklyn, New York jail on charges of illicit operations, criminal operations, conspiracy, fraud or coercion and transportation to engage in prostitution case. Sean Diddy Combs kids are continuing to support their dad as he remains in jail for an avalanche of romantic involvement abuse allegations. Taken to Instagram on Tuesday, six of his seven children addressed the continuous legal pursuit of the bad boy records founder with a joint statement. The past month has devastated our family Quincy Brown, Justin, Christian King, Chance and twins Jesse and D. Lila Combs wrote. Many have judged both him and U.S. based on accusations, conspiracy theories and false narratives that have spiraled into absurdity on social media. The statement continued, we stand united, supporting you every step of the way. We hold on to the truth, knowing it will prevail and nothing will break the strength of our family. The statement was accompanied by a photo of Didi with his seven kids, including his one-year-old daughter, Love Sean, at the toddler's birthday party a year ago. Sean's mom, Janice Combs, and Love's mother, Dana Tran, were also featured in the snap. Diddy welcomed his twin daughters, Dee Leela and Jessie, with his late ex, Kim Porter, while he shares daughter Chance with Sarah Chapman. Diddy shares his seven children with four different women. The music mogul welcomed three kids, son Christian, 26, and twins Dee Leela and Jessie, 17, with his late ex, Kim Porter. The two dated from 1994 to 2007. Sean also adopted Porter's son from a previous relationship, Quincy Brown, when the latter was just Three years old. He also welcomed son Christian King Combs, pictured here on October 10th with Porter. Diddy also shares son Justin 30 with fashion designer Misa Hylton and daughter Chance 18 with Sarah Chapman. In December 2022, the musician surprised fans by revealing that Tran had given birth to their daughter, Love Shan, two months prior. Back in September, just days after the music producer was arrested on charges of illegal trade and coercive practices, Quincy Christian and the twins shared another joint statement where they addressed the rumors surrounding their dad and late mother. The family has previously shared their support for the music mogul. Diddy's adult children also showed their support for him in a New York City courtroom on October 10th, where a judge set the rapper's trial date for May 5th, 2025. Prior to that appearance, twins Delilah and Jesse visited their dad at the Metropolitan Detention Center in Brooklyn, New York. His mom, Janice, was also present for the visit. Janice has vehemently maintained her son's innocence and defended him in a lengthy statement shared with earlier this month. She slammed the public lynching of Diddy at the time. It is heartbreaking to see my son judged not for the truth, but for a narrative created out of lies she began. To bear witness what seems to be like a public lynching of my son before he has had the opportunity to prove his innocence is a pain too unbearable to put into words. Like every human being, my son deserves to have his day in court to finally share his side and to prove his innocence. Janice admitted that Diddy made mistakes in his past and has not been entirely truthful about certain things but that does not mean he is guilty of the repulsive allegations and the grave charges leveled against him. It is truly agonizing to watch the world turn against my son so quickly and easily over lies and misconceptions without ever hearing his side or affording him the opportunity to present his side, she wrote. Janice went on to claim that the 120 people who have accused Diddy of abuse are only interested in receiving a quick payday from their false allegations. My son is not the monster they have painted him to be and he deserves the chance to tell his side, she claimed. 
I can only pray that I am alive to see him speak his truth and be vindicated Diddy has been behind bars ever since he was arrested on September 16th in Manhattan on charges of racketeering conspiracy intimacy covert movement by force, fraud or coercion and transportation to engage in prostitution. He has pleaded not guilty to all three charges and his attorneys have called the lawsuits false to outright absurd. And that's a wrap on today's episode of Famous Faces Scoop TV. Diddy's legal battles might be spiraling, but one thing's for sure this family saga is just getting started. Will truth prevail? Will the Combs dynasty weather the storm? In only time and maybe a Netflix documentary will tell. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss the juiciest updates. Until next time, keep it real, keep it juicy, and keep coming back for more of Hollywood's hottest tea.